In this tutorial, we're going to look at the tools and the toolbar that you have access to during a Microsoft Teams meeting. So here I am in a meeting. There's my teacher waiting for everyone to join. And you'll see me here in the bottom right corner. There's my video. And when I move my mouse around, you'll see this toolbar that pops up at the bottom of your screen. And this is important because this allows you to engage in the activities during the meeting uh, and also control some of your settings. So for example, if your teacher asks you to turn off your camera, you can click the camera icon here to turn that off or to turn it back on. Okay, another thing you have is your microphone. So uh, when it's your turn to speak during the meeting, you're gonna wanna click here to unmute your microphone so that your teacher can then hear you speak. Then you'll click it again to mute your microphone when you're done speaking. You also have this raise your hand button. Um, oftentimes your teacher will ask you to raise your hand to check for understanding, or if you have questions, you can raise your hand here. I can click the raise hand. It now, uh, the hand is lit up. And when I mouse over it, it now says lower your hand. And what will happen there is your teacher will see all of the students and they will see a hand next to your picture if you have your hand raised. So I'll click it again to lower my hand. This next icon is for the chat room. When I click here, the chat or conversation room will pop up on the right. And here I can begin typing messages to my teacher and my classmates to participate in discussions during the meeting. I can type a message there, and then I can click the paper airplane to send it so everyone can see it. All right, the other button next to that is the show participants. And this will show all of the participants in the meeting, who's here, and this also will show you who has their hand raised. You see the little hand pop up there. To close out of this, you can click the X to close that sidebar and be back to full screen. Now, one other thing you might want to adjust is your video and audio settings. You can do that by clicking the More Actions drop-down menu, and you can go to Show Device Settings. When you click here, off to the right, you will see settings for your speaker, your microphone, and your camera. And so um, if you're not hearing anything, you can check your speakers, make sure you got the right one selected. If your microphone isn't working, you can click there to make sure you have the right microphone selected. Sometimes we use external mics that are Bluetooth, or sometimes we plug in microphones into the computer. And then the other one is camera. So if you have other cameras you've attached, you can make sure you have the right selection there. All right, and those are all the controls for your Microsoft Teams class meetings.